He can just keep on doing that. I want you to know what a joy it is for me to be with you today. Amen. I also want to bring you an update real fast about the building. Some of you have asked about it. Many of you have been praying about it, and we're thankful for that. We are close, oh so close, that Noah's rain yesterday slowed us down. <laughs> the building is about ready. We're waiting for the parking lot to be paved. We've decided to wait until it's absolutely finished, paved, before we go in. And so that's going to be about another week and a half, two weeks. They were hoping for Easter next Sunday. We're missing that. That's okay. If we have to wait until the first week or second week of May, we're going to be good. Now, Jamie, I'm hoping we're going to be in the building before you come speak for us during the summer series. You're at the late end, so maybe it's a good chance. We're excited about it. We appreciate so much you guys' concern and prayers and comments that have been an encouragement for us. Amen. I hope you have your Bibles today. If you've heard me speak, you know one of the first questions I'm going to ask is, if you got your Bibles with you today, hold them up. All Don't right. get a psalm book. <laughs> <laughs> if you got the techno stuff, that works. As long as it's keyed not to the to any of the games or Facebook or stuff. All right. <laughs> You know by now I love the Bible. I love to preach the Bible. I'm going to turn the pages of the Bible. Before I go any further, Brother Hines, it does a heart good to see you today. It's been an awful long time for me, and it's a joy to see you here. Sister Hines, you've done well keeping up in line. The text this morning, or this afternoon, I'll get the afternoons and morning straight in a few moments. Matthew 16. I'm going to start in verse 24. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Mm -hmm. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Right. I want you to know as I begin this morning or this afternoon, I'm not going to read verse 26 again until the very end. Mm -hmm. Because there are some things that take place that you and I need to be aware of, and I'm going to fit it into the life that you and I are supposed to be living for Jesus Christ. Right. Right. We'll get there in just a moment. We are more familiar with the verse, Matthew chapter 16, where it talks about Jesus talks to His apostles, and who do people say that I am? And they begin saying different answers, and then Peter, good old Peter, I love you. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Right. And Jesus said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, because flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Uh -huh. And He goes on and says a few other things, but beginning in about verse 21... From that time on, he begins to tell the apostles about the death that he's going to undergo. He's getting them geared up for the cross. Now, Christ has been into that as soon as he began his ministry. The apostles aren't all familiar with this. So Jesus is beginning to tell them how he's going to be killed, how he's going to raise up again on the third day. Look at verse 22. Peter took him aside. There's Peter. He's still not learning anything. <coughs> and rebuked him, saying, God forbid it, Lord, that you'll die. This shall never happen to you. But Jesus turned to him and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me, for you are not setting your mind on God's interest, but man's. Then Jesus said to them, If anyone wishes to come after me, you and I are very, very comfortable with the idea of the plan of salvation. Amen. We've got it down to five points. Am I right? Mm -hmm. To hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized. We got that down. Amen. But perhaps to many of us, when we have been buried in baptism, God's plan of salvation has been completed and all is well with our soul. Listen to that again. To many of us, mm -hmm. salvation is finished. I'm good. I got into that water. I was baptized. My sins were washed away. I've been added to the church. I can do whatever I want to do. Am I right? But I'm going to talk to the church today. I'm not talking to the pagans. I'm not talking to the Gentiles. I'm talking about Christians today because we have gotten caught up with this idea of salvation. I'm good. Just because I got wet. But there's another step in God's plan, and that's what Matthew 16 is about. That's right. 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 
when Jesus confronted Peter after he said, oh, this isn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. Jesus was telling Peter, but you don't know. Yes, you don't understand. Mm -hmm. And you need to understand about this denial process. If anyone comes after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And that's where I begin this afternoon. We'll get to verse 26. All right. All right. That's all right. But I want you to understand what that verse 24 is saying. Because for Christians, that's vital for us to understand. To deny yourself means to surrender to God His will, His affections, His body, and His soul. Amen. When you and I went into that water of baptism and said, I want to be baptized, I'm going to give myself to you, <laughs> yeah. you have given up everything. Yeah. Please understand what I just said. Mm. Everything. There's yes. nothing left. Amen. You can't hold back mm. from God and say, wait a minute, that's, you can't touch that. Mm -mm. that. I can do what I want to do. Mm. You're right. That's not what the Bible says. Amen. Deny yourself. Mm -hmm. I am finding right. more and more in my life as I deal with the church, we don't like that thought. Mm. Well, I agree. In Mark chapter 12 and verse 30, you can also find this in Matthew chapter 22. You shall love the Lord your God. You can almost fill in the rest, right? Mm -hmm. With all your heart. Mm -hmm. With all your soul. With all your mind. Are you kidding me? With all of your strength. What's left over? Not a thing. It's everything's God's. All is God's. But I want you to know in the church today, We've gotten caught up with the pleasures of this world. Mm. Right. I fear that we have embraced right. the world. Mm. We're Amen, comfortable preacher. with the world and we're unwilling to sacrifice. Amen, preacher. Mm -hmm. I want you to notice in 2 Timothy chapter 3. Now I'm going to come back to Matthew 16. So if you want to tuck a finger in there, that's okay. I understand. <laughs> 2 Timothy chapter 3, Paul warns and encourages Christians the type of life they're supposed to live. Listen to what he says, 2 Timothy chapter uh, chapter 3, beginning with verse 1. But realize this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. Uh, uh, that's okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> For men will be lovers mm -hmm. of self, mm -hmm. lovers of money, mm -hmm. yeah. boastful, arrogant, revilers, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, unloving, irreconcilable, malicious gossips, without mm -hmm. self-control, brutal, Haters of God, treacherous, mm. reckless, conceited, mm. lovers of pleasure mm. rather than lovers of God. Can I put this mm. in that language you and I can understand? Yes, sir. Yes. When you choose, I'll get there again later on this afternoon, but when you choose not to be at worship on a Sunday because i got a ball game to go to. Yep. What are you oh, 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 oh. I get too personal that time. Oh, oh, oh. I apologize. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> when we find more time to watch the TV mm. instead of reading God's word, what are right. we telling God? Amen. We're right. telling him he's not important. All right. <laughs> when we put our money, oh, oh and I gotta be careful. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> when we put our money before the Lord, well. we buy the fancy house, we buy the fancy cars, we buy whatever else. Mm. Before we give to the Lord, what have you told the Lord? Mm. It's not all about him anymore, is it? Right. Right. It's right. about right. us. We've Indeed. not denied ourselves Amen. of anything. I'm Amen. telling you right now in our world today in the church. Mm. We're Amen. not denying ourselves. Mm. We have become a people of convenience. Mm. A Amen. people right. of comfort. Amen. Whatever right. happens to fit into my schedule, that's a good thing. <laughs> mm. We'll come back to it. I'm going to end with that in just a little bit. Let's move on or I'm never going to get there. And, uh, Kevin, good luck. <laughs> you already had your time this morning. I mean, <laughs> Philippians chapter 3, verses 4 through 8. Listen to what Paul says is true self denial. Although I myself might have confidence even in the flesh, if anyone has a mind to put confidence in the flesh, I far more. You've got this figured out. Circumcised the eighth day, mm -hmm. that was the Jewish way. Right. Of the nation of Israel, that's a big deal at this time. Of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to the righteousness which is in the law, found blameless. The man wanted to go right down the law. Mm -hmm. I'm a Jew first. I'm a Pharisee. I'm a Hebrew. And I got the law down. Mm -hmm. I'm even persecuting the church because these Christians don't have a clue what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's what he started with. But listen mm -hmm. as he continues. But whatever things were gained to me, those things I have counted as loss yeah. for the sake of Christ. More than that, I count all things to be lost in view of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and count them but rubbish, so that I may gain Christ. Amen. I want to know Christ. Christ. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing important in the life of Christians. Amen. 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 Everything that we do is about walking in the steps of Jesus Christ. Well, yes. I'll get back to that in a second. Deny yourself. Mm -hmm. Take up your cross. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a burden we bear. Mm -hmm. That cross is indeed a burden. Amen. It was a burden to Jesus. Amen. It's a figurative statement showing that we must endure whatever is burdensome or trying in following Christ. Amen. Our tendency is when the going gets That's tough, it. what happens? We quit. We fall away. I'm not doing that. Ask someone to teach a Bible class. I'm out of here. I can't do that. Keep singing. I want to, I've enjoyed hearing the singing this, evening, uh, this afternoon. It's been good. It's been good. I love it. I could hear from outside when we drove up. Yeah. I'm getting ready to go back in just a few minutes, and guess what they're doing tonight with us? We're just singing the whole time. You want to come? Just join us. We'll walk in and we'll all sing together. But the singing's wonderful. But there are folks that I can't do that. I'm not going to do that. Don't ask us to do anything out of line. In the book, The Cross Bearer, the author pictures one man dragging the cross behind him. He wants the benefits, but is ashamed of the cross. Are you there? Is that our life? That's not what Paul calls us to. That's not what Christ calls us to. Take up your cross. I'll drag it. I don't want anybody to know about me. Wait. There's another picture of a man sawing off a part of the cross. He thinks the cross is too burdensome, so he tries to change the cross to fit himself. Rather than change himself to fit the cross. Amen. Are you there? Isn't it possible that's what we've done? Yes. We've decided what's really important. I'm going to change the cross that Jesus wants me to bear to fit my life. Mm -hmm. It's better that way. Amen. Oh. But Jesus says, deny yourself. Mm -hmm. Take up your cross and follow me. me. That's right. Yeah. The apostles had a thrill. I, I wish you and I could have this as well. We can through the Bible. To follow Jesus. They, they could follow His steps. They, they knew about the temptation that He went through after He was baptized and He went out into the wilderness. And He was, uh, he was challenged by Satan. Uh, we know that He went in and worshipped in the synagogue as was His custom. Mm -hmm. You can read in Luke chapter 4. Ooh, we don't read that verse very often, but we need to. His custom. That meant he did it all the time. Mm -hmm. It wasn't something like well, I just happened to fall into the synagogue and that's okay for today. Mm -hmm. He was there all the time. That's right. He sacrificed. In John chapter 10, verse 18, he said, I have the authority to lay down my life. Mm -hmm. And we need to do the same. The sacrifice. Yeah. The goodness to others. Matthew 7, verse 12. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. All In right. Philippians chapter 3, I'm back there again, verses 10 and 11. And we talk about knowing Christ that I may know Him and the power of His resurrection and the fellowship of His sufferings being conformed to His death in order that I may attain to the resurrection of the dead. I, I, I want to know Jesus beyond just the written page. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. I, I want to Amen. walk in His steps. Yes. Amen. I want That's to it. sacrifice. Yes. All right. I want to do as He says to do. All right. And that was Paul's prayer. Mm -hmm. I want to know the resurrection. And if we're God's children, we'll understand that resurrection one day. Right. Oh, what a glorious day. Yes. A glorious day. Victory in Jesus. Mm -hmm. But to follow Christ demands personal consecration. In Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. And I'm turning there as, as we continue on. You notice I'm not back in Matthew 16 yet. When I get there, you'll know I'm at the end, okay? <laughs> Romans 12, verses 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. To follow Christ, to deny self, mm -hmm. follows this line. 
Therefore, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice mm -hmm. acceptable to God, which is your spiritual service of worship. He doesn't stop there. Mm. And do not be conformed to this world. We need to highlight that. We need to spread it around. Amen. Our problem is we're right there. We're mm. with the world. We're in the middle of the mm. world. We're not leaving yeah. them behind. Yeah. we got to raise the bar. If they're going to see anything yes. different. Amen. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's that take it up your cross. That's that self-sacrifice, self-denial, so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. To devote or to dedicate, that's that, dedicate, that's that consecration idea. Um, to set apart to deity. In this case, set apart to God. When we talk about consecration, we're talking about sanctification. We're talking about being set apart for God. That's Amen. what Matthew 16, yeah. that's yeah. what Jesus was saying. Deny yourself and take up your cross and follow me. He requires consecration. He requires that sanctification in our lives. We can't live the normal life as they do out right. there. Amen. Amen. We've changed. We yes. need to hear. Thank it you, changed. Mm -hmm. Everything Thank changed. You. Yet I find more and more we want to hold on. Mm. We still want to be a part of this world and say, yeah, but I don't like it. Yeah. You can't like it anymore. Mm. You gotta leave it. In first Peter chapter three and verse fifteen, it says, Peter says, But sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always being ready to make a defense to everyone who asks you to give an account for the hope that is in you. Yet with gentleness and reverence, sanctify Christ as Lord in your life. What a challenge. But when we take Him and put Him into our lives, I want you to notice these next two verses so very important for us to understand. In 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 18, Paul writes, But we all with unveiled face, right. beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as from the Lord the Spirit. Hear what he said? When you become a Christian, you're looking at a mirror. And as you look at that mirror, you begin to see Jesus. Yes. It's a process, by the way. I said, like, I'm saving. It's a process. Yes. It's not going to happen because you get out of that water wet. Mm. All right. It's a day by day right. challenge That's to right. grow in the Lord, yes. deny Himself, take yes. up your cross, follow yes, Jesus. Yes, Amen. And the more you do that, the more you become. In the image of Jesus. Amen. A reflection of Jesus mm -hmm. in all that we do. It leads us to a Christ centered life. Yes. Galatians 2.20. I've been crucified with Christ. Mm -hmm. It's no longer I who live. Right. But Christ lives in me. Did you say that mm -hmm. this, this afternoon? I mean, Absolutely. I'm talking about saying without a doubt mm -hmm. that it's no longer about me. Amen. It's right. about Jesus. Amen. And that's so very important. In Philippians chapter 1, verse 21, Paul says, For to me, to live is Christ. Is Christ. Mm -hmm. To die is, is gain. To live is a win Christ. Situation. Oh, that that would be your prayer and my prayer every day. Amen. How do we show our commitment? Yeah. I, I found this somewhere. Don't, don't ask me where. Don't hold me to that. Mm -hmm. But listen to it. It makes a little bit of sense and it makes you cringe. I don't apologize. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I say go home and check it out. Amen. <laughs> Lord, I appreciate so much your sacrifice on the cross. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it so much that I'm going to dedicate one hour a week on Sunday mm. morning to you. Amen. Amen. No, 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 don't even me yet. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even sound right. Oh. Does sound right to you? Mm -hmm. All right. Wait, wait. All right. I really love you so much. Mm. I'll give you four hours a week. I'll give you Bible mm. class. I'll give you Sunday morning worship, Sunday evening worship, Wednesday Bible <laughs> class. That's a good thing. That's how much I love you. That is, that is, unless it's too cold or too hot or too windy or too rainy. You heard some of that? I've heard a lot. I know I'm stepping on toes. Yeah. Here, I'm not going to apologize. I've heard from Christians, I can't get out tonight. It's too wet. They'll go to the football game and set them away. Yeah. 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 
Besides that, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus are going to stop by to see me, and you know how important friends and family are. Mm -hmm. Father, when I drove out the money changers, I sprained my back, mm -hmm. and I'm not too comfortable right now. Could we maybe wait until I feel better? Yeah. Not only that, but it looks like rain, and you know how rain affects me. Yeah. I want to do your will, Father, but let me do it at oh. my discretion. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. Can you imagine mm -hmm. that Jesus would have even considered such? Mm -hmm. He prayed that this cup may pass from him. Amen. Oh, but not my will. But your will. Your will. Oh, that we as God's people. Yes, sir. We take on that attitude. Amen. It is almost blasphemous Come on, to think of Jesus praying such a prayer as I just read. <coughs> right. Yet, we hold God to accept our excuses. God forgive us and have mercy upon us. If anyone wishes to come after me, yeah. he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Yes, sir. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses or forfeit his soul? Yes, sir. Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? You see, when you go back to verse 24, it really does fit, doesn't it? That's right. Because what the Lord is calling for us to do as He shared verse 26 is for us to deny ourselves. When we hold on so tightly to the world or back, we are selling our souls. Again, God have mercy upon us. Amen. When we forget about denying ourselves. All right. Jesus That's good. Christ. Yeah. Good. Amen. 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 Amen.